If you're like me and millions of other North Americans, the idea of being your own boss is a pretty attractive thought. I mean, who doesn't dream of waking up whenever they're rested, working on your own schedule, taking time off without asking permission, and no longer having a boss breathing down your neck? The problem is 95% of new businesses fail, and a big reason for that is because most people who start a new business just end up creating a job for themselves instead of a thriving business. Hi, I'm Dan Gerke, and I've been working from home since 2009. Today, I want to share with you the nine characteristics of an ideal business. Number one, your ideal business needs to be based around something you're passionate about. If you don't love it and you're just doing it to make a buck, it won't last. It's got to be something that makes you jump out of bed in the morning or soon enough the novelty will wear off and your business will fail. Number two, pick a business with high demand. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Sure, some renegade entrepreneurs have come up with radical new business ideas that created whole new industries. But they're the diamonds in the rough. You'll have way higher success from choosing a business idea that's in high demand with lots of competition because that means there's lots of people willing to spend money there. Number three, be portable. Let's face it, who wants to be chained to a desk if you can work from a couch, a coffee shop, or a hammock on the beach? Technology today makes it possible to work from almost anywhere, so why not utilize it? Number four, you're in business to make money, right? So would you rather make a little profit or a lot? A lot, right? Therefore, it makes sense to build your business around products with high profit margins. Not 5, 10, or even 20%, but 80, 90, and 100%. Number five, Scalability. Your new business must be set up from the start with the ability to grow and hopefully grow fast. Ensure you can sell more products to existing customers, add new revenue streams, and increase profits right from the start. Number six, don't break the bank. Sure, a McDonald's or Starbucks franchise might be a virtual home run, but you'll need a million dollars to open the doors. I don't know about you, but that's a big investment to make that will take years to recoup. Why not start something for a few thousand or even a few hundred dollars that gives you the ability to get into profit almost immediately? Number seven, dealing with employees sucks. Ask me how I know. Having to let someone go is one of the most stressful things I've ever done. Your ideal business should run with little or no staff possibly an outsourced assistant or two to help you stay on top of things or handle tasks you're not good at, but definitely stay away from having a bunch of staff unless you love losing sleep and dealing with drama. Number eight, low overhead. Don't spend money you don't need to. Keep your business lean and mean. Even when the money starts rolling in, fight the urge to start spending it on a fancy office, staff, and other extravagances. The more money you keep in your pocket and put away, the better you'll be able to weather the storms and down cycles, and all businesses will have them. Number nine. This one is my favorite. If your business isn't set up to make you money while you sleep, then it isn't an ideal business. It's a job, which often stands for just over broke. If your income is determined by the number of hours you work, then you'll never have freedom. It needs to produce income even without your direct involvement. Your goal in business is a lot like this Spanish proverb, health, wealth, and the time to enjoy it. There you have it, the nine characteristics of an ideal business. Thankfully, I've found a business that checks off all nine of these characteristics. And if you're looking for a way to spend more time with the people you love, doing what you want, when you want, where you want, and do it all without having a boss, then go ahead and click the link below and I'll see you on the inside.